Hi guys, so today I have a video for you sponsored by Tonic Studios for their new showcase, Up, Up, and Away. And hopefully, obviously, you saw the thumbnail, but as you can see on here, it's going to make a delightful little um, hot air balloon. I mean, check that out. So, uh, they did send these items free of charge for my review, and of course, all opinions are my own. And any links out in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items those links. So I received samples, and so my sample, this is how yours will be uh, matted up on a magnetic sheet with its... Um, pocket here which is really nice and um, and then I'll have some inspo and you know package just a little bit differently and sometimes if it needs uh, instruction there'll be some instruction in with their um, items generally speaking and so let's just look at the photopolymer stamp set here it says enjoy the ride thank you thinking of you sending you lots of love just for you little banner let's go on an adventure a special delivery oh that's so sweet um, it was like those little like old school like old timey like you know how sometimes, I don't know if you spend time looking at hot air balloons, but I imagine that they have that cute little like decoration on the side. There's their little basket weave, um, lots of different little pennants or bunting, however you want to call it. Really cute little garland swag type stuff. All kinds of decorations here if you would like to stamp and decorate it that way. And then we also have, excuse me, let me sit down, the uh, die set, of course, that has... Uh, Tons of ways to decorate. Again, there's a little basket weave if you want to just do that with the die, but you also have the stamp that you can cut it with this outer portion. So let's look at this and then we'll um, put one together. So, um, as you can see here, this is part of the hot air balloon. So, what I imagine is that this piece is going to go on top and then it comes off and then there's like a base. So, hopefully, you can kind of see that in the images there, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So we have this outer piece that clearly has little notchings that you're going to need to put it together because it's kind of round, well it is rounded, you know. Um, and then we have this outer die and then we have an inlay die so you can pair those up or just use the inlay or however you want to do that uh, for your decoration. This is the other portion of the hot air balloon and I don't know if you can imagine, it goes like this and this comes into the basket. So. This is the bottom portion, again, with an inlay that's decorative. We have the outer die, and then, of course, the die that uh, makes the box base. We have a separate inlay or insert that you can use there, and this one also does have a second one so to change up the design a little bit. Uh, this is another portion of um, our little basket, or the hot air balloon itself. There's going to be a basket portion, obviously, and then the hot air balloon portion, and so more decoration, and then the outer die with the inlay. Um, the little basket portion right here, uh, let's see here, with again the little basket weave if you would like to use it, the little openings, um, just looks like a decorative portion here, and then this is the base part, uh, it has several different pieces, so if I'm not making sense, it'll make sense once we start uh, working with it, little tag that has an inlay for you if you want to use that, um, Oh, up and away is an embossed piece, oh, and then we have the little uh, banner that will cut the stamps um, sentiments. The little bunting or uh, pennant part. Here's a little cute little swag, and then this one has an inlay if you would like to use that. Um, and then this portion here, I was going to say it looks like it goes here, but it's not quite, so we'll have, <laughs> we'll see where that one goes. Um, we have uh, this. A hexagon piece and then a smaller one a little portion that cuts out a little like um, area with little uh, detail and then here we have this uh, portion that it looks like we're gonna put it together a couple times so it makes a different shape here uh, tons of inlays and outlines here so we have the outer portion with the stitching an inlay a straight side with the inlay a um, little kind of button I don't know how you call them button, but a little dot portion with an inlay. And of course you can mix and match those however you like. And then this portion also has the button, the straight edge, or just plain, and the stitching, and then the different inlays that of course you can mix and match. And so what I think is best to do is just grab some paper and get to it. Okay guys, I think I'm going to make my hot air balloon a little vintage, a little old timey. So I just pulled a bunch of colors that I would like to work with. I know for sure my base is going to be um, black. So I have that. I have a little craft card, which I think will be the basket base. And then, I mean, look at this yellow bamboo. How cute is that for the basket uh, at the bottom? If you want to just cut that, don't even use like the inlay or stamping or anything. And just some other colors that I thought might go with that. You know, red. I know uh, some cream colors, some white. Uh, sometimes the old school balloons. 
or at least the way they're depicted, they had like maybe red and white on the top and then gold and everything else is like black and brown. But anyway, so I'm just gonna do like a mixture of those colors. But to get started um, with this craft card, I'm going to cut out one of these, which is going to be what this basket piece sticks to. So we need one of that, we need six of these, and um, I think what I'm going to do as I do that is I'll go ahead and cut this little accent piece into it. So that'll just be done that way. And I'll tape it down, of course, so that those dies don't move. I'll tape it so this die doesn't move. Um, I believe that's all I need right now for the base. So I'll do six of this, one of these, okay, from Craft Card. And then um, from some black paper and this is always heavier weight paper craft card always seems like a heavyweight anyway just because the way it's created um, this one's 300 GSM and what I'm going to do is six of these <laughs> and six of these I'm trying to see if there's anything else I need to cut out right now in that color oh um, this is the very top so when this does its thing and you curve them around there's six of them at the very top we need a little something so I might cut that out like in gold or an accent color just to be cute so maybe the red something like that or maybe some beige it doesn't matter but I'm gonna cut this one out of an accent color so we need one of this and I think that's it for right now so um, I'm gonna create the base of the balloon okay so okay. I will be right back. First going to work with the base um, what I'm gonna do is probably decorate these before I actually shape them into their shape because uh, when the shape is more rounded, I like to kind of put that on there and then give it the rounding so that the um, inlay portion is already there and it looks really nice. So I'm going to put that to the side for right now instead of kind of coaxing it on after it's been rounded. And with these little guys, all we're going to do is score the tabs on the score lines. I'm not going to do anything with that quite yet, but basically it's going to go in and up like this, right? But for now, I just need to put them together and put them on that little hexagon base. So I'm not going to mess with this part too much until I get there. So let me just get these guys all scored up and I'll also score these tabs all in and I'll be right back. So this part is up to you, you know, however you want to put it together. Um, I'm sure the instructions say a certain way to go first, but what I'm going to do is attach them to these pieces. So this is the rough side, this is the nice side of the die cut. And I'm just going to add some Nuvo. I'm going to bring this guy over and add it on there nice flush so that when you fold it you know there's no like overhang of this die cut sticking out it's just nice and flush there and then I'm going to the next one and I'm going to attach them all and then I'll put them together in a ring so however you want to do this if you want to put these guys together first you know all six and then make them a ring and then add them to this whatever is uh, more comfortable for you or what you want to do but I'm just going to put them together like this first and once they're set up, I'll bring them up and attach them, okay? So this one's still a little bit wet, but I can start at the beginning. And I'm just going to comb them through and attach these. Now, if you want to do a little portion at a time, like, okay, just this longer side and go around and then come through and do these other guys however you want. But I will mention at this point, we do want to have these uh, scored. Let me let that go for a second. Score in and then score out if you're going to do it all at once. So in and then up. So I'll do that around all of it, in and up. And you could have done that before, it's just I wanted to be kind of flat when I was working with it. And now I'm back at the beginning and these two guys will go together like that, right? So I'd rather hold it all at once, but it, again, if you want to do just the long edges, go around and make sure those are held and then come back and do these guys however you want. But I think if you're already holding it, you might as well hold this whole section, right? <laughs> okay. So that looks pretty good. I'll go on to the next one. Again, glue all the way down. I like to put pretty much to the very edge, um, this outer edge, because that's where we want to make sure, give it a little zhuzh, make sure the glue's kind of spreading out a little bit. I'm going to hold that for a few seconds. Since this is craft card and it's very, you know, porous because it's just paper, um, it holds on pretty quickly. Some other ones that we might use, uh, if they're a little slick, it takes a little while. But i go there and there. How cute is this? And then this other portion, when it comes in, this portion here goes on top of that. So that's what you have this little lip for. But I'll go around and put it all together. Okay, I'm back at the 
last portion, so I'm just showing you how I'm doing that. I'm just sticking my finger in there, holding that down, and then these last two little bits. Just making sure that's lined up nicely. There we go. Pretty quick. And you know, the way I run things through, just maximize the space on your um, die cutting machine, whatever size die cutting machine you have, as many as you can get through. And I mean, these cut out in just a couple minutes. Um, that reminds me, I didn't measure these because they aren't that big. As you can see, I think the largest one would be this one. It's may maybe three inches wide by f almost five inches long. So it definitely works in a lot of machines, if you're curious of that. Um, Look at our little base, you guys. Actually, I say little, but it's a good size. Ooh, that, I was like, what is that? It looks creepy. It's because of the way the lighting is hitting in here in these little open portions. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's see. It is a two and a half inch hexagon, basically. So that's the base part. So I'm going to put this to the side. It's so cute. Okay. And I did choose a, another red. I showed you guys earlier one of my reds that I chose was really shiny. What I think I'm going to do is use this classic card in candy red. And it'll be like the accent color behind. What I was initially going to do is just the inlay. But then I thought, well, you know, might as well go for it, right? So um, I'm going to cut this out of red paper. So six of those. And then an inlay one out of the cream. I did get a sheen paper I wanted to show you. Well, it'll be out of one of these. I think I'm going to go with just the cream classic card. I did bring out this ivory sheen one. Hmm. You know, maybe we'll go ivory sheen. Sure. So um, this will be an inlay one. So I need six of these. And I'll do the exact same thing for the bottom. I'm just going to keep it all the same, you know. So this bottom portion, oops, I'll cut all these out, six in the classic red. And then inlay portions, six of them from the uh, ivory sheen. Okay. And I'll be right back. I'm working. I want to show you. I just paired these guys up together like this. And I got all six out of one sheet and I even have a little extra for something else but um, next time now I'll get my uh, pure sheen paper and I will put my little inlays and make sure those don't move either and do the same thing you guys look at this little one just popped out this guy's on his way so pretty and delicate and again I always clean them off you know whatever it might be on here you might want to get it out of the way before you keep going but definitely get all the little um, pieces out of these guys if you have any just before you move on. Okay, so I have my little bundle of pieces here so all I'm going to do is just um, glue this together. So again sometimes that if it's wide enough I'll just put glue right on the very edge. Maybe put glue on the back of my hand and tap this into it and then stick them down. So I'll do that for all of our pieces. Now if you look at the dice set there are other ways to decorate if you want to do a few other things um, like this portion here can come down off. I'll just take this part. But um, once you have it all together, you can just use these for different decorations and different portions of, you know, what's going on. So like this little guy, or however. So there's just fun ways to play with it. I'm showing your basic construction today, so I will be right back. sweater you know as I'm working with these what I'm going to do is also and I was going to show you in the video but I'd rather mention it um, is I'm going to go ahead and glue them down on these guys so put them together and then glue them down and I'm going to keep them flat so that's why I'm just going to work with them all at once um, so there goes that and then center it on here and nice and straight and these are going to have a little bit of a curve, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give them a curve while the glue is wet because it just seems to mold really well when that happens. Same thing with this guy. I'm going to glue it on and just give it a curve. It's going to be something like that, you know, whenever we get these guys all together. So I'll do that and give them a little bit of a shaping. Okay, guys, so I have my little topper piece, and I will wash the glue off my hand in just a minute. <laughs> but um, So we have our pieces. These are the bottom ones. These are the top ones. I mean, look at this looks so pretty already um, so what we're gonna do with these guys is basically just glue them together so this is gonna be something like that of course the tabs go in tabs always 
well not always but pretty much always go in <laughs> and then um, you know we have this portion here so what I'm gonna do is put some glue get them all ready um, actually I'll just do these two so we can do that I'll show you what I'm gonna do and glue these guys together again if you're using something shimmery or shiny it's as this base piece it might take a minute for your glue to set up a little bit longer just because they're very slick and that's just what happens but so we're gonna take these guys and I'm just gonna hold on to that actually how do I want to do it wants to face me a little bit so I can hold it better okay and again they're a little rounded right so we're gonna work on that in just a minute so I'm gonna wait for this to set up just a bit and then essentially we're gonna do the same thing with our top portion but I'll show you that in just a minute with that one I think I'm gonna do it a little bit differently and as you can see as you just work up they'll pretty much go where they need to as far as falling in line right this one I'm kinda of holding it a little bit flat so I can see where those I'm holding the bottom two basically and as I move up and you can put glue as you like I just put them on all of the tabs and then I'll move on to this next one and then here's where it's gonna kinda of curve a little bit right to get that part so you want this part to be set up pretty well before you move on to that On this part, like I said, I'm not sure if it goes in or out yet because this portion, when it comes up over, it's going to go on top. So we'll see. Excuse me, I got a little something. I said, now this next guy, <laughs> so this one here. And as we come up here, this is where it kind of starts curving in, like for this guy. Again, just meeting them up. I'm not even looking on the inside because, you know, whatever. I'm just doing this part. And then I'll do the same thing as we go along, but now we're going to connect these two. And I don't know if you can see, this is a little bit beveled, so that kind of gives you a tip that it does kind of curve in just a little bit. So on this last piece, I'll put some glue since I didn't put any earlier, and I'm going to give it a zhuzh because I left it. What I mean by a zhuzh is kind of move it a little bit so that the glue spreads out for you. And then I'm going to hold that. And right now it looks a little squared off, but it's a little bit rounded. I don't know if you can see that rounding there. And then when we add the third one, of course, that's half of our project, right? So this one. And then it starts kind of curving in, and then we'll have all six. So when I come back, I'll have number six added on, but then I'll show you how I'm going to finish it off to uh, here to the first panel that we did. And this looks so pretty. I really love these colors. What a fun colorway. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the glue's just there. Um, and then this one, uh, I think what I'm going to do with this one first, well, I was wondering if I should go ahead and adhere it to our little base first. All right, so it's all glued down, and then these pieces. I think I'm first going to glue them together. And these are going to have a really good curve. So as you're working, if you need to curve them a little bit more, yeah, go ahead and do that. But yeah, I think I'm going to add them. When everything's together, I'll put this on top. But if you wanted to, you could definitely put the wrong sides facing together. And then this one. And then the next one and keep going. And then glue them together down here. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just kind of debating. Maybe I will do that. I just don't know if it's better to have one big piece and keep going. Or if I should stick them together, like I said, individually, and then at the end put this on top. But having this there might help us guide, you know, how the shape. So I will do that. I'm going to take a moment, perfectly line that up, you know, edge to edge. I'm going to give these guys a really good um, curling or curving. <laughs> and then I'll keep going, and I'm sorry if you can hear the neighbor's gardener. Um, so I'll keep adding all these, okay? And I'll be back when I'm done with it. Look how cute. <laughs> Oh, you're back. Cute. It looks like a little lampshade, like a Tiffany lamp or something. I'm just going to pop that on there and hold it down. And then when we come back, we'll put um, our tabs together. I'm telling you, when Tonic does something, they do it. I just turn it over to hold that last bit down. And um, look how perfectly everything lines up on the inside. Like, just awesome. Okay, that one's still a little bit wet, so I'm going to go to like this set. And basically, we're just going to start gluing them together like this. 
And it's pretty much the same thing I did earlier. Now, I might do it from the back side here on this one. Glue, glue, glue. Again, a good amount. And I always get it right to the edge where the scoring line is. So when you bring it over, you can just hold on. And I'm trying to see exactly where the curve is. Okay, so I'm going to hold this guy. I'm at the very base piece just to get that going. And then from there, I'm going to kind of work my way up, just making sure this is popped out the right way so that the edges are touching. I hope that makes sense. This, like the hard edge of this one, is right on the score line of the one before. And I think that's how you'll best know that you're in the right spot. And then just hold on. Honestly, super easy. And I'm just kind of manipulating the tabs in the back, just pushing them up as I need to so we can get that nice curve. And again, we pre-curved our pieces, so they're just kind of falling in place. And I am definitely going to go wash the glue off my hand. So I'll hold on to that. Whatever little glue comes out, I kind of just take away with my nails. And when that sets up, I'll move on to the next one. And the same thing, just put all the glue tabs. And you can see it's kind of expanding as we're doing that. So cool. What a cute little project. It's going to be sizable, I think. Okay. And once this is set up, I'll move on, like I said, glue, 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 get this one going again, probably holding it at the bottom like I did earlier, and then pushing these guys up so that they meet nicely, and keep going. Okay, guys, let me check this out. So pretty, so sizable, I love this. Just thinking, like, Miranda's birthday's in June, and she doesn't, obviously, I haven't chosen a theme yet, but I was like, oh, what if we do hot air balloons, and I use these as, like, the goodie bags, but anyway, um, so... I'm gonna, on this last one, I'm just gonna curve these in, and as best as I can see, I'm gonna add my glue on each tab. Sorry if my finger's in the way, but I'm just trying to hold it open while I get those going. And last little bit. So again, just open it up. I'm holding these two, the top two tabs, in place. And once those set up, I will just kind of whoop, curve this in, and that will make our top just want to show you kind of how I'm doing this and then I'll come back with the base because I started working on this and I left my base sitting over but again I'm attached to bases all like I showed earlier and I'll come back when I'm attaching the last piece to the first piece okay and I'll be back so again I'm just holding this until it sets up again I like to use white glue so it takes a minute um, what's nice about the paper I use is that it's very porous it's just holding on pretty quick look at that little top I think that was a great idea though to start off with this uh, attached because it helps you keep the shape right as you're going around and then whenever this is ready which I'm not sure it is I'm going to curve this part in and hold those guys down here so pretty hey you guys oh my goodness this is like the cutest thing I mean look oh, look <laughs> Okay, so this will be, uh, the, again, I'm just coming around town here and going to finish this up, so on this last one here. And I've just been putting the glue on all the tabs at once, and it's been working out really well. Even if this is Nouveau and it wants to, you know, dry pretty quickly. Um, by the time I got to the end, it was perfect. And that's actually a perfect consistent consistency, because sometimes when it's a little tackier already, because it just sticks on faster, in my opinion. But So, again, I've been kind of holding the bottom part because that's where I started I'm trying to keep it straight let me show you and so this one's a little bit different because obviously we're all the tension of the circleness of this <laughs> um, so I'm gonna hold that I'm gonna hold it for quite some time and then when I hold that I, you know depending on earlier it was different because it was such a wide opening um, I can kind of get my fingers in here a little bit differently so I kind of hold the top and I go like this and I hold some of these guys so these first few are holding on and then I just manipulate my way all the way up until I get to the last one and then hold 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 so that's what I've been doing so that's what I'll continue to do it's just a little bit different since we're at the last bit and I have my fingers coming up from in here which is actually really good that works out real well and then like I'll hold these three at the same time so I'm holding this guy, one, two, three tabs, kind of manipulating them, making sure they're nice and close together. And then I'll come up and hold on to those, just like I've been doing, like I showed at the beginning. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was going to test it out, but no, we will wait. Okay, guys, <laughs> so here's our little base piece, and then we can bring this guy back over, and we will try it out now. 
So it has that little hexagon shape. Now, as you look, look how cute. So I'm assuming you can glue this together if you want that to stay as one piece. You can have this to put a little treat in. Um, of, cor uh, bleh, of course, or clearly, I'm not sure what I was going to say, but I got a little tongue-tied. If um, you see from here, let's say you glue it together, well, it's still an opening, so whatever you put in here might fall it down in there, plus fill up in this area. Or, um, there is this die right here. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this other die off the mat. And I think this helps out with that in my opinion <laughs> so we might cut this and see um how we might be able to use this one but um oh my gosh you guys okay i'm gonna put this on top and i'm gonna be like oh how cute Sorry, I'll and then i'll show it to you guys <laughs> hopefully <laughs> look at that i mean obviously it's a little crooked because the way i have to hold it to show you guys in the camera there that's a little better you guys oh my goodness this is a sizable Thing. Let me try and keep it together and measure it. Again, if you want to glue the base to the top part or however, I would definitely leave this off, obviously, so you can get in there and put, you know, whatever gift or whatever item you're popping in there. But let's see as far as the height of this. Let's settle that down. Um, it's kind of hard for me to... <laughs> I'm going to have to bring it over here. Uh, it is about 8 inches tall, I would say. About 8 inches high. Um... You know, it's kind of hard to tell. Let's open this up and then maybe, you know, it's a hexagon, so you have like a four and just over four and a half inches that way there. Um, four and an eighth, you know, just from here to there. And then we have all these different spaces. And then, like I said, the base is like a two and a half inch hexagon base with like uh, an inch and just over an inch and a half depth. I mean, I just. <laughs> I'm just I want wow. to do to finish this little guy up just to add some more to it is the basket bottom. Again, our basic construction. So I'm going to do a little decorating here, but uh, this little piece here, I'm just going to cut from some dark brown paper, I think, just to accent that. And I actually have a brown piece of paper here in my scrap area. So I'm going to cut out six of these. Again, tape down so they don't move. Six of those. And then uh, I'm going to use this little swag that will then I'll pop on here. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, but I'm going to do it with the inlay, and I'm going to cut it out from gold paper. So I'll tape that together so it also doesn't move. And then I'm just going to glue them on. Just a little decoration, a little something extra. We have the For You tag, again, up and away, the little banner. I mean, there's little pennant things that you can stick to, like, let's say, some twine or some um, baker's twine or something like that. And you can hang it from wherever because they usually have, like, all those ropes and poles. And it's just so many things that we can do with this. Super cute. So um, I'm going to do these things, and I'll attach them. And you'll see the images there coming up. So thank you so much, Tonic, for sponsoring this video, for sending these items for review. And um, I'll have the links in the description box. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.
come back and show you. I mean, it just, I'm <laughs> just blown away. And it holds on really well because there's a good overlap. So when you put it on, it's not like it's just going to fall off or it's like, you know, not sturdy. It's a really nice piece. I mean, and if you saw in the video there, because I did come back <laughs> probably after I, you know, did the dolling up of it, um, I did glue it onto the base just to keep it as one piece. But again, you can have those two different pieces, maybe a one treat down here and a different treat up here or, you know, whatever it is. And this is going to hold a lot of treats. In my mind, I'm thinking lint candies, you know, uh, Ghirardelli lint with a D-T, not L-A-N-T. <laughs> um, you know, a treat and like some uh, tea. I mean, this is just going to hold a lot. It's just, oh my gosh, look how gossamer and pretty it is with that little addition there. I just put this on here, and the way I left it kind of free-flowing is I just put glue on one section and right here, and I just kind of kept it tight so that it would bow out, and that's it. That's all I did, so you get that movement, you know. So, just really, really, I'm, uh, I... I'm speechless, you guys. <laughs> it's such a pretty uh, project. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll sign off again. And again, <laughs> the images are coming up. Links are in the description box, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.